This is the 217 Recovery Podcast with Corey Winfield. I think that's pretty fair for a guy. Once a quarter, four times a year, you trim toenails. If it needs to be done, it needs to be done. I don't think that you can go by the calendar year. You probably wish I would, because I probably maybe really do it like twice a year. And co-host Marnie Winfield. The people that really are drawn to the 12-step program, one piece of those 12-step groups is because it's people from all different varieties and lengths of time of sobriety. It is the 23rd of May, 2023. I'm Corey Winfield. I'm Marnie Winfield. And this is the 217 Recovery Podcast. We haven't been in the studio for a long time. We haven't. The original studio, which is where we're at now. Yeah. So feels good to be back. Feels different. Feels weird. Mm-hmm. I like the studio, though. That's where we started. Yeah. And I do want to check in with my quarterly goals. Okay. Uh, I had a right foot... <laughs> toenail clipping. I did not do this on my own accord. Uh, my wife grabbed my foot and started clipping. <laughs> and you didn't do my left one. Well, they they need, I need to be done, but you were just too agitated. So I just said, this isn't worth it. They're not even ripping through my socks yet. Right. Like, it's not, it's not even a big deal. Yeah. So I got one foot still kind of in the zone, but the 17th of March is when they were first clipped this year. Mm-hmm. So that was in the first quarter and now we're in the second quarter. So we'll keep it up and let you know how often <laughs> we'll keep I you updated. clip my toenails. Now, does that count then since you clipped it? I think you just kind of set me back. I I don't, I don't know. I guess when I do my left one, I'll have to do my right one anyways. Prob- yes. I'm already down there. Yeah. Might as well, you know? Yeah. I hear that a lot. <laughs> Just stop it. So how are you? Your thing was good. Yeah, I'm good. Um, I'm a little tired today, but I'm probably just because I've been going for, you know, a long time. We went down to Lansing for the UFAM rally. Obviously, that was a blast. Um, such a good turnout. And I, I would love to know if they have an idea of what the numbers were, you know, if we could figure that out, but it did feel like there was substantially more people there this year than last year. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we like, we met a lot of people, you know, spread the message about what we two seventeen does and heard people's stories and congratulated people and, you know, gave them, Props for their efforts and, you know, there are, there are people, there are fellow, you know, people in the recovery community. And so, um, it just, it feels real natural there now for me. You know what I mean? At the UFAM really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that, your, that was your second year? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it was my third. It's not like I've been. Right. Tons, but that was their sixth annual. Mm-hmm. So, and of course, I think two years they didn't do it because of COVID. Yeah. It was really neat. There was, you know, there was like a group of like three or four ladies that came up and they were interested in, you know, the shirts and stuff. And they're like, we don't have, they were in sober living and they said, we don't have any money because, you know, we're, we're in sober living. And so, or treatment rather, I can't remember which. Yeah, swim be treatment. So they and they said, um, yeah, they we didn't want us to hold on to our funds. And I'm like, well, you know, tell me a little bit about what you're doing, and we'll give you a shirt. So, and they were just beside themselves. They were just like, you know, grinning ear to ear, and just looked healthy, and it just it brought me back to, you know, not all that too long ago. Yeah, that's, that's what it's about, sort of. And when I say that's what it's about, I mean like giving back, but also recognizing that that was you mm-hmm. at one point, you know, and you were in those same shoes and that same situation mm-hmm. like you went through sober living before. And you know what it's like. 
Yeah. And I felt kind of bad for these guys that walked up and they're like, hey, how much are these hats and how much are this? And we are like, uh, two for 30. And I think that's actually a loss. I was talking to Adam Newth about it today. Adam Newth from Addiction Dream of Services. And I was like, yeah, I think we took a loss on that because I think the hats were over $15 a piece. Oh, yeah. And then plus we had to have them embroidered or whatever. So I was like, yeah, but they're just sitting in a closet. Right. You know, I mean, that's whatever. And we don't have shirts and we don't have hats because we're trying to make money off of them no absolutely not we're just trying to get some cool stuff out there people are like hey we like your logo or hey we want to help support you and you know the fact that someone would wear a shirt you know that says 217 on it you know i think that's pretty awesome mm-hmm. and that's why we give people shirts like if we have a sign up on our website 217 recovery.com you can get there from the app too yeah if you you know take the time to fill it out i guarantee you, i'll take the time to send you a shirt Mm-hmm. Now somebody the other day, I think it was yesterday. He, he, and I don't know if it was by accident, but he filled out like five of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Sometimes that happens, but I'm only gonna send him one shirt. But mm-hmm. you know, if you do want to support us or whatever, feel free. You know, two seventeen recovery dot com. Yeah. You know, you can also support us with donations, but that's up to you. Yeah. But yeah, we're not trying to do merchandising to, to make money. And some people would probably say, well, what do you mean? Like that's, that's a, that's a funding source and blah, blah, blah. But the way we do it, it takes time and time is money and I don't have time and you don't either. And I mean, I'm sure, I don't know, maybe Adam Stevens can have some time. <laughs> I know Justin Burke doesn't. Uh, we've been keeping Mitchell busy mm-hmm. talking about the 217 recovery center. Yeah. And if you're looking for a recovery coach, you know, we can hook you up with one of those as well um, and to say that our guys do stuff differently than other people. I don't know. You know, they, they've taken the same training and the thing about a recovery coach is it's not a sponsor. It's not a therapist. Right. It's not a counselor. It's nothing like that. But you want to use them as that. <laughs> Some people do. A lot of people do. But just somebody that can help you make the connections to kind of get you to the next step, to get you to your own personal next level, mm-hmm. you know, as being in sobriety, you know, look at it like that. And what do they do? I don't call and find out. You know, there's actually a form on our website where people can request a recovery coach. Yeah. So there and you go. Yeah. And it's, it's free and you know, it's, it's another, it's another resource to have in your journey, another person to help you along. I was talking about the treatment center today. It was, I don't really know what my point was today. <laughs> I don't know, but I did all right. And it was pretty good. And one of the guys was like, man, I'm definitely going to come down to your recovery center. And it's like, okay. You know, and we hear that a lot when I go talk at places. Oh, yeah. And the people that come out and actually do and follow it up, small percentage, I'd say. Mm-hmm. But there are some people that like the message and they want to have fun in recovery as well. And, and, mm-hmm. and they will come in and hang out and, you know, start their own meetings and stuff like that, which you can check out on our app. If you're like, if you have the app right now, just go to the main page, look at the bottom and it'll say meetings, click that. And you have a slew. Like that word. You're like mm-hmm. I said, it, mm-hmm. slew. Mm-hmm. slew of options. And you, that's, that's the cool thing about zoom too. You can jump on there, and if you don't want to turn your camera on, you don't have to. If you want to name yourself Biggins, <laughs> <laughs> Sam Biggins, uh, Dusty Biggins, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo McGee, Scooby Doo McGee, or Floppy Biggins, <laughs> whatever you want to name yourself, do it. And you don't even have to talk, you know, just check it out. Some of the guys are doing stuff that. I would say is non-traditional, mm-hmm. but it's a way that they can do stuff that they like to keep themselves sober. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Yep, for and, sure. And honey, believe me when I say this, you never know if you'll like it unless you try it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Just saying. So that was a good point that I made. Did you like... Oh, you didn't even listen to the UFAM rally breaks, did no, you? No, I listened to a lot of it because you've been listening to it for a lot. Well, sometimes I'll, I'll sometimes I'll do things and say things, 
And then I'll think about it later, like six, seven hours later. And I go, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Let me go listen to that. So I'll listen to it. I'm like, ah, oh, wasn't that bad? Sometimes I'm like, well, I mean, I shouldn't say that again. Mm-hmm. But no, it was fun. And <laughs> Adam and I and Mitchell, we kind of did a recap about it the other day. And I guess that would be yesterday. Mm-hmm. And they they had fun and they, they kind of had their own favorite moments from when we were doing the wireless mic and stuff. And so that was kind of fun to see because I thought that, I don't know, I thought it was worse than what it was. Mm. Like the stuff I was telling them to do. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, Mitch or somebody had said something about it. It was like impractical jokers. And I didn't even think about it at the time. But like stuff like that, I've been doing a radio for a long, long time, like 20, 30 years mm-hmm. ago. Gosh, I'm old. <laughs> so, you know, but I didn't even think about like, oh, yeah, that's kind of some of the stuff they would do, but not really. And And it was fun. And that's what it was about. And we had a blast. So... Thank you. Yeah, you did. It but, was, and every, I mean, there were, there were really good sports out there too that were going along with it. And think, I think it was, you know, playing along and thought it was funny. <laughs> and then the other people, some didn't. Anyway, um, that's all I had. I was going to do the podcast earlier, but it got a little, a little late and got away from me. So, but I did want to do one because I want to start keeping up with the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday thing again. And, just get back on track, get on schedule, because I feel like the podcast is something that kept me sober, and I'm starting to let it kind of slip away and get away, and it's going to kind of, I got to die on myself, and I got to make time for it, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And whether you're here or not, you know, I have to do it for myself, and I want to keep doing it. So sometimes you got to reel yourself back in and just kind of align yourself with what, what you were doing and what you were wanting, because as soon as the podcast starts slipping then what's going to start slipping, you know, like it kind of goes like that. So just to play it safe, I'm going to keep talking to this microphone. So that sounds good. And hopefully you can keep listening and time to win shirts. All right. Everybody have a good night. Thanks for listening to the 217 Recovery Podcast. Win a bunch of free shit from 217 Recovery. Go to the app or the website, 217recovery.com.